Hey, this is Pat, and today we are checking out the all-new Dainese Drake 2 Super Air Pants. Now, as the name indicates, these are an update to the Drake line and Super Air, indicating that they're a full mesh chassis in the key zones where you want it to be to help flow through air. So you're looking at a sport to sport touring, hot weather commuter riding pant out there. And I do like the overall style that Dianese is bringing to the game. I think there's a lot of cool features throughout this and a couple key things that I personally would have gone in a different direction with, but I'll get to those in due time. But before we get too long, long-winded on the features, let's talk about the overall fit. So I have Nick on my left, he stands at five foot nine, weighs 180 pounds with a 38.5 inch belly button measurement. And he usually wears about a 30 to 32 in his US jean size. And if you take a look at the Dionese sizing chart, it's gonna be very confusing. Technically his waist measurement as we just listed it would put him in like a 52 or 54, but we actually have him in a 46. So if you're looking at that waist measurement, go ahead and use your US jean size to actually measure up that waist measurement. That's gonna be what Dionese is using and Dianese, if you're listening, please fix your sizing chart because that is not accurate. But if, like I said, we have them in a 46 here, so just use that US jean size measurement and go ahead and size it up and you should be all set. That's what he ordered it off of. That's what he has wearing on here and that fits him true to size with a very slim tapered Euro design as Dianese is known for and as Dianese is known for in the Drake lineup especially. These come in at, like I said, sizes ranging from 44 up to 64, come in two very similar colorways and around $300 for the price point. If you're looking for something a little bit more cold weather oriented, you can step up to the other Drake 2. They're just called the Air Tex Pants. That removes the mesh and just makes it more of a cold weather option out there. But again, keep that in mind if you're looking at sizing or if you're trying to figure out the overall fit. But let's talk about the Drake 2 Super Air Texas specifically here. You're looking at a quick dry polyester main construction all the way throughout. We've seen Dianese use that for years. That's got a nice little Little stretch to it all the way throughout of the pants and then you're seeing these mesh inserts throughout in the key zones like I said in the middle of the thighs at the back down by the calf everything that's going to help flow that hot air out of the pants and make it a lot cooler especially with your pants being so close to the engine it's going to be flowing a lot of air throughout they are CE level A rated when it comes to abrasion. Would have loved to seen double A, especially at this price point, but I'm not too upset about it with the overall style that Dianese is going for. And you do have CE level one hip armor which is massive, if I say so. It's their old composite armor. We've been seeing them use it for years. That does come in at the knee. It is not, uh, does not come at the hip, but there's a pocket if you want to add their pro armor in there. But just keep that in mind if you're wearing taller boots on your commuting. He's got the, uh, what are these, the Dino Pros down there. That's what he's wearing on the boots. Those are a short boot, so it's not factoring in the shin. But if you are, just make sure you have enough space in your uh, boots to make uh, up for the oversized shin armor that Dionese comes with. Like I said, this thing is freaking massive, so I'm gonna toss it off to the side. Now, this is one of the complaints I have with Dionese, and Dionese, sometimes you gotta tell your designers that an idea isn't the best idea out there, and specifically talking about the button here at the waist. And as you can see, there's actually a little piece of white that comes with a tag on there to remind users that it's not just a simple snap button, it's actually a slide snap that locks into place that you need to unhinge. If you need to put a tag on how to use a button to get in and out of pants on it, you need to physically sew it in there, it might be the wrong direction when it comes to a design. So while I love that it locks into place, next time Dionese, I'd love to see you maybe gravitate away from that and come up with a little bit more of a simple design when it comes to locking in there. Again, cool concept. Sometimes you just got to tell the designers when an idea is bad, in my opinion. So you have that locking snap and keep in mind, it is only buttoned onto the material. So if you pull hard enough and you don't do the sliding mechanism, they can pop off. And we've seen a lot of people actually have that issue where the snaps were failing. And I suspect it's because they weren't doing the, the pulling motion, but I know it's something Dianese is already aware of and trying to address with future inventory and warehouse SKUs with this one. So just keep that in mind, they're working on it. But I think sometimes you just gotta tell a designer when an idea is bad. Don't wanna harp on it too much, but again, keep that in mind. You do have a zipper underneath that and you do have two slash pockets on each side just above the mesh. They are mesh lined inside, so it's not going to hinder any airflow through. You can fit a cell phone in there, but again, if you're riding in these pants on a more sport-oriented bike, you're probably going to want to toss the cell phone in a pocket in the jacket or in a backpack or on the luggage on your bike. Mesh panels down the inside of the thigh and reflective running down the outer thigh with the Dianese logo. Ton of pre-curve built into the knee, again, for more sport riding position. You can see that hard composite armor running up at the shin on Nick over here, coming down to mesh at the base. You can go ahead and turn to the side and kick that left leg out here. What we're gonna see is ton of mesh, 
again, coming down at the lower thigh, but you still have that quick dry polyester up top that's going to help for that CEA abrasion resistance. It's a key landing zone, so you want to make sure that is a heavy duty material. So that's why they're using it up there with a little bit of Velcro adjustment up at the waist if you need to cinch it down. Say if you're losing a couple pounds, you can cinch it down on there. I'm very envious of you. Mesh running down at the outer thigh. Again, that pre curve is very obvious on the side, the profile, and then that mesh running down the back as well. You can turn to the back for me. You got a raised rear yoke up at the top of these pants, so it is a little bit more coverage. Again, if you're connecting it to a jacket, a matching Dianese jacket, it does have a 270 full circumference zip, so you can connect it up, make it a one piece basically, and then some micro stretch underneath there just to give it a little bit of movement, say if you're in a more aggressive full tuck riding position. You got the seat panel, and then again, oh, you can see all the mesh coming down the back of the legs and at the back, and then you have the actual entry into the pants, which we can get a nice glimpse of uh, the calves on here on Nick, but you got that nice zipper on there with the gator. Just just to put it over top of a riding uh, boot, but I'm gonna assume, like I said, with I mentioned with the armor at the knee, you're gonna wanna put a boot over top of it and make sure you have enough room or go with short boots like we have here on Nick. You can go ahead and turn to the front for me. So there you have it. Those are the Dianese Drake 2 Super Air pants. A lot of things I like. One very big design flaw that I tell them to take a look at the drawing board. We're starting to see in a couple other lines, so I'd love to see them redesign that, but a great option for airflow, great option for that big shin and knee armor coming in with that CE level A abrasion at the $300 price point. I think it's a decent offering building upon the Drake legacy that Dionysus has had in their line for decades. If you have any other questions though about these Drake 2 pants, go ahead and click that info button that's gonna take you over to the product page. You can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about these pants. If you have any questions or if you wanna talk through sizing since their sizing chart is a known problem, go ahead and give us a call. Our customer service team are all riders they're happy to help you get set up for your next ride. I want to thank you for joining the lower half of Nick and I in checking out the new Dionese Drake 2 Super Air Pants. I'm Pat, and I'll see you in the next video.